Okay, before we get into this episode, we want to go ahead and let you know that we have a coupon code for the star ingredients of these uh, two cocktails that we're going to be featuring, the Mr. Black Coffee Cold Brew Liqueur, and that is IBN10. You can use that at mrblack.co for 10% off of your order. All right, let's get into the episode. Welcome to another episode of Drink More Bourbon. Cocktails. That's right. Sarah, we're, we're branching out a little bit here with this uh, ingredients. Yes, we've been experimenting with some new ingredients and we found mm -hmm. one that we really like, which I think is a bit of a surprise, Chad. Right, because... This is a cold brew coffee liqueur. Cold brew coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I've said it many times. I'm on the record. I'm not a coffee drinker, but this Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur, apparently that's the right stuff when put into a cocktail for me. So Sarah, what, uh, we're gonna, this is a twofer, by the way. What are we going to start with first? First, we're gonna make a cold brew old fashioned. Before we get started, I just wanna say, I think it might be a little out of character for me to be using liqueurs. I don't usually mm. use liqueurs. I usually find them too sweet and there's too many like additives and it kind of icks me out. Sure. But what I like about this one is that it's made from 100% Arabica beans. So if you're a coffee drinker, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Um, Chad's like, that mm. sounds good. But, but you know, 100% word. all natural. No, you know, I'm into the all natural, no additives. Sure. So we like that. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started with our cold brew old fashioned. Okay. First, we need an ounce and a half of bourbon or rye, whatever you have handy. We're going going to stir this one, not shake it. So mm -hmm. put it in my mixing glass. So there's an ounce and a half. And then we need one ounce of our Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. And then if you'll hit me with three dashes of bitters, please. This is a black walnut bitters. So something that I do like about both of these cocktails is that they both use the Mr. Black coffee liqueur and then they also both use black walnut bitters. And I'm a big fan of, if we're going to invest in an ingredient, let's find different ways to work with it. Now that so you're saying that this is gonna be used in the in our other That's what I'm saying. They're well. both gonna be used. And the whiskey, so really. Synergy. It's a, so much synergy. Okay. All right, well. let's get some ice. All right, ice. Okay, now that we've got our ice, give it a good stir. Make sure and get that cold brew, nice and cold. Huh. You need your brew cold if it's cold brew. Maybe some bartenders would give it a, extra stir, but I'm, don't claim to be one, no, so. not bartenders. Okay. All right, so now. Strain? Yes. There we go. And then we will garnish this one uh, with a lemon yes. peel. So I like to give it a little rub around the edges just to get that nice effervescence of the lemon peel. A little citrus on your nose, because a cocktail is a treat for your nose as well. Mm -hmm. And then we just give it a little twist. Twist. And, and a dunk. Blop. There you go. <laughs> a cold brew, old fashioned. Okay. So I really like this because I like the contrast of that little bit of citrus and the black walnut. So you've got some earthiness with the black walnut and the coffee and then the whiskey is giving it a little bit of a sweetness and bringing that oak flavor, but the lemon is rounding it out with like a pop of citrus. And I think it's just enough to make it feel really balanced. For someone who doesn't like coffee flavors, what I'm focusing on here is just the earthiness. Mm. You know, it's like a, a really oaky bourbon or a real, earthy bourbon or rye, since we did use rye in this. So that's, that's what I'm concentrating on. I can definitely see those coffee flavors, but you know what, I'm I feel like I'm it, into it. it plays well. I think the spice of the whiskey kind of helps balance out those earthy flavors and then the lemon and brightens everything up. Mm -hmm. So we actually shared this recipe with a few friends who said that they thought it would be great for like a brunch cocktail. And while I agree, I actually think I would like this around happy hour. I don't know about you, <laughs> but that like four or five o'clock feeling of like, I could lay down and take a nap or I could go be fun with my friends. Mm -hmm. Or depending on your job that, you know, three 3 p.m. kind of slump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chad's saying it's 3 p.m. for get, him. Get back into it. Okay, well, good. Um, now we're gonna move on to cocktail number two. What are we doing for that one? A Kentucky cold brew and cream. All right. Okay, so we have uh, set up for the second cocktail. Yes. Where do we begin? Well, we begin with, again, the bourbon or rye. So of your choosing, we're gonna mm -hmm. do one ounce of that mm -hmm. in a shaker. So we'll be shaking this one. Okay. An ounce here. And then we'll also do an ounce of the Mr. Black coffee. And then next is our new ingredient. So different from the last cocktail, we have a bourbon cream. You can use any bourbon cream that you have handy, whatever your, whatever your preference is. Sure. We'll do a half an ounce of the bourbon cream. Okay, into our shaker. And we will shake with ice vigorously. <laughs> That ought to do it, Chad. Okay. Beautiful. 
beautiful. So I like to do this one in a coupe glass. You could definitely put it in a rocks glass with a few ice cubes too, if you want a real cold, cold brew. Yeah. Um, and then I like to do a couple of drops, again, of the black walnut bitters. Beautiful. Or dashes, mm -hmm. I think is the appropriate ingredient uh, terminology. And then you can sprinkle cinnamon over the top or you can be fancy and you can grate a cinnamon stick. Of course we're gonna be fancy. Of course we're gonna be fancy. Now, you don't have to include the cinnamon, but I particularly like it mm -hmm. with those cold brew and uh, cream flavors. Right. This time of year gives it a nice holiday touch. So, cheers. Mmm. Ah, uh, yes. It's the, it's the Gatsby. It's the Gatsby, that's what we call it. Mmm. See, I also think that this could be, it almost reminds me of like a boozy latte or something like a boozy iced latte. And then with the cinnamon on top, I think it could be a breakfast drink or again, I think it could be a nice dessert or evening drink. What do you think? My mind goes to ice cream, mm. um, you know, with those flavors. Uh, I, I don't normally get coffee ice cream again because I'm not a, nice a coffee fan. Mocha chocolate. But you know, I've I've asked for the scoop, you know, the sample <laughs> in enough places to know, and that's where my mind goes to. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I would think this would be a great after dinner. It definitely concept. is giving me a bit of a dessert vibe. I think mm -hmm. just the creaminess and the coffee, that black walnut bitters, and then the cinnamon. I'm it's making me think dessert. But yes. I don't mind if I do. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. <laughs> Which one was your favorite, Chad? Um, you know, I think I would probably drink on this one. Mm, okay. See, I think the cold yeah. cold brew old fashioned is my mm. favorite. So something for everyone. But the star of both of these have been the Mr. Black uh, coffee, cold brew liqueur. Where can people uh, find this? Uh, MrBlack.co. So, and if you use code IBN10, you can get 10% off because they were lovely what? enough when we told them how much we love these in our recipes, they were lovely enough to tell us that we could share them with you. So go awesome. there, use code IBN10 for 10% off your bottle. And we hope you make both of these cocktails. If you get the bottle and you, you do like it, then you should check out their YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Black Coffee on YouTube and find more recipes because I think there's a ton more you could do with this if you want. Beautiful. And speaking of YouTube channels, thanks for oh. tuning <laughs> tuning in to ours. Uh, if you are new to us, you can subscribe by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right, till next time, drink more bourbon cocktails. Bye.